This clip is brought to you by the legendary Tasty Pastry. 20 grams of protein, 5 grams of net carbs, and zero sugar. Better than any protein bar out there. Tastes amazing! Enjoy this clip. How hard do you need to train? I know it's context-specific, it's specific for what you're trying to do, right? But we've been training for a long time, and to build the amount of muscle we have now, it, it makes you wonder, did we need to train that intensely to get this amount of muscle, or could we have done it with less mm. stress, right? Because to maintain the muscle, it's not that difficult. You don't need as much training volume to maintain a decent amount of strength or muscle. You need more to gain more muscle, but you don't need to train as hard to maintain what you've built, right? So I don't know. Because the way you see some people train sometimes, it's like, you might not need to go that hard. Mm. The right. context is definitely a big part of it because uh, I wonder like how hard did Nick Bear have to train after he uh, did his mar last marathon training? It, it might've been food, recovery, um, a little bit of gym time and boom, he might've put on 25 pounds. Not running as much. And, and, and didn't look any fat or just looked like mm. more, way more jacked, you know? So it definitely depends on your previous history. I think for some guys that have a history in their, you know, in their background of they did lift heavy at some point and they lifted intensely and lifted probably with, you know, maybe five years or so of pretty good knowledge. A lot of, a lot of those people can coast in my opinion. I, I think they can. I think they can kind of coast if they're not looking to like build more muscle or they're not looking to look more insane. Uh, then I think they can kind of just chill. Yeah. Um, I, I, Ended up uh, training with some guys from my uh, jiu-jitsu school, um, and we were working. Uh, we did some cable sissy squats, so mm -hmm. a different stimulus than they're used to. They're like, we're used to hurting kind of all over. Now we're hyper-focused on this one muscle that is really sore now. And uh, one of them, he, uh, he had said this morning, he's like, yeah, I thought we were going to do like a lot more sets there, so I was dreading it. And I was like, well... What, what benefit would it have done if we just did like 10 sets? We only did four. I was like, if we did 10 sets and you'd still be wrecked today and you probably wouldn't be able to put in the effort. So I think where I know I went wrong is I would just do too much because I'm like, no, I got I to gotta crush it. I'm too skinny. I need to work really, really hard right now. But that took away so much from the next day and the next day that I couldn't hit the next, the following workouts with as much, with as much, um, energy. So if I had like maybe chopped a little bit of that down, you know, I could have hit the next couple of, couple of days with the same amount of intensity versus, you know, a 10 today and then like a you know four tomorrow and like a two the next day and then like try to go for another 10 and hurt myself. So I think that's where I personally went, went wrong with it. The, uh, going too hard. Yeah. I wonder like, do you guys think you need to be sore or do you think you need to have just maybe done a little bit more than you did last time? Like, or, or just, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe not even either one of those, just create a stimulus. That's, yeah. You know, that's the thing though, because all of us at this point, we are doing multiple things. You know what I mean? If I didn't have jujitsu, I would be going way harder with the gym because mm -hmm. uh, when I train in jujitsu, uh, after I'm done, I'm tired. Like I've done multiple roles, I've sweated, I've exerted a lot of energy. Usually on the same day I've done something in the gym, but I haven't gone so hard in the gym that I couldn't do jujitsu. Now, before I started jujitsu, my gym training was much harder because for me personally, I need something that allows me to exert in that way. Um, it's just nowadays, I don't need the gym for that level of exertion. So I'll still get a good workout, I'll still get good stimulus for what I'm trying to improve at, but it's not kind of killing myself like I used to, right? And I mean, I've still been able to maintain and gain new skills over the past few years in the gym. So it's, I'm wondering, I think it's kind of the same for you because you've been running for a while now, but if you didn't have running, your workouts would probably be kind of different, right? Yeah, for a little while, I just got rid of lifting altogether. And then now I kind of put, put it back in. I mean, there was a tiny bits of lifting, tiny bits of like sled stuff and but uh, yesterday when I came in here, I did some uh, belt squats and I worked my way up to around five plates. And as I was building up, um, I was doing some pause reps, doing some isometric and stuff. And all I'm thinking about is like, how do I just create a nice stimulus in the legs to mm -hmm. where I think that this is going to benefit me uh, later on when I go and run and when I run tomorrow and the next day and so on. Uh, but also it's not going to leave a mark, you know, it's not going to like you know, leave me banged up. So I got to those five plates. 
I did the five plates. I did probably like 20 reps. It was a really good, felt like a really good effort. Um, squats were high. They're, you know, above parallel squats on the belt squat. Felt really good. Didn't hurt anything in my back. Didn't hurt anything in my legs. Just felt awesome. Later when I went to run, because I also did some sled drags and stuff too, I felt I felt that when I was running. I felt like uh, there was a little energy drained from the legs, but there wasn't any extra soreness. There wasn't any extra tightness. Uh, whereas the previous week, I went too hard. I did too many sets. So I only did one top set yesterday. The previous week, I did like three top sets because just because it was feeling good. I was mm. like, this feels fucking great. And I got excited. And then when I went to run, I was already tight. Then that night, I couldn't sleep because my legs were just bothering me so much that I couldn't I couldn't fall asleep. The next day when I went to run, my legs felt like they weighed a million pounds. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's like at this point, <clears throat> I have to be really conscious of, uh, you know, I guess overtraining. Whereas before, I would just always go kind of nuts on that and I would just accept the soreness because I didn't have any, I didn't, it didn't matter how, I, it didn't matter how I got up off the couch, you know, but now it matters how I'm running and how I move the rest of the day. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also we are on Reddit and discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us down below there too. So you can get whatever you like from us. All right. Peace.